Let's talk about vaccines. The anti vaccine movement is quite strong in this country. I still receive emails from anti vaxxers who tell me that in spite of agreeing with me on most issues, they think I'm completely wrong about vaccines, that vaccines can uh, give you the disease they are meant to prevent, that vaccines can give children autism, that vaccines are part of some vast government conspiracy to control people, et cetera, et cetera. And we know that this anti vaccine sentiment can be directly connected to the recurrence of preventable diseases. We've seen this in California with whooping cough. We've seen it in different parts of the country with measles, et cetera. We now have a really big study. And I present this to you knowing, Lewis, that those who are against vaccination, this has been studied, seem to be almost completely uninfluenced by actual data surrounding the safety of vaccines. So I present this more for the part of the audience that is interested in the data rather than trying to convince the anti vaxxers. I know that that seems to not be possible. There is a new study, a, a very wide ranging study, which analyzed something like 70 different individual studies on vaccine safety. And it seems that they are safe. I know this won't surprise a lot of people, but it will surprise some 67 recent scientific studies on childhood vaccinations. The analysis was published yesterday in the journal Pediatrics. It finds, of course, no link between autism and vaccines that debunks one common myth. It says that while vaccines do have their risks the same way any medical intervention does, that the significant side effects are incredibly rare and are far outweighed by the overall benefit of vaccination. And one of the uh, individuals involved in the study said, fortunately, the adverse effects identified by the authors are rare and in most uh, cases would be expected to resolve completely after the acute event. This contrasts starkly with the natural infections that vaccines are designed to prevent which may reduce the quality of life through permanent morbidity, such as blindness, deafness, developmental delay, epilepsy, paralysis, and may also result in death. The new study is not that innovative. It's not that surprising. We have so many of these studies, but it seems that the anti vaccine movement is completely immune. Kind of funny to use that term. They seem to be immune from facts and seem to just obsess over sending me links to uh, uh, medical conspiracy websites and completely uh, discredited sources. Yeah, look, the medical community is in almost total agreement on vaccines. And if you don't defer to the experts on any given matter about that matter, uh, what are you doing? I mean, if, do you think five minutes of internet research is going to make you an expert? You defer to experts on every other uh, in every other instance, why don't you defer to the experts on this one? Yeah, and I, I will get the emails also that say, David, just Google this or that. Google vaccine autism link and look at all the stuff that comes up. Yes, there is a lot of stuff that comes up when you Google that. But I question what basis that has scientifically to influence our positions on this. I think the answer is none. Yeah, if you if you Google, uh, you know, lizard men, there's, uh, you know, thousands, if not more things that come up. But do you actually believe in lizard men? Exactly. I, think so. I think Lewis is making a brilliant point. Lewis asking all the right questions as usual. Later on today, Patriot Mail. Patriot Mail today, I think, will excite and titillate most of the audience. We will also talk about tax cuts and the economy. We actually have some data to figure out what happens. Stay with us.